A member of the Biden family eaten by cannibals? We have SBF rolling over on some major celebrities. Be interesting where this lands. And price action is getting ready to burst. We're going to take a look at when moon, why moon, and how much moon. All this and more on today's Blockchain Basement. Ow. Oh. We are the bread and butter of all the information that's been swimming across the internet for crypto news. If um, you're going to screw me, at least pull my hair. Yeah. Hell yeah. What do you got? Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, no. They could start chopping off fingers. They're yeah. like, give me your seed phrase, but that's, yeah. I don't know it. Over two years, he's made like 17K on I'm Roblox. Yeah. What? Like 12. You yeah. never listen to me. We must be married. Yeah, well, how much are you investing? $100. Four to 600000 The think generational so signals are now. Do you now. You're spread so thin. That that's how you get in on Snake. Snake's been my biggest winner. I love how I can hear the music now. That is just fantastic. Hello, everyone. Welcome one, welcome all. We are uh, getting after it. Here in the basement, we are powered by Arculus. A big shout out to Arculus. Uh, channel friend, channel sponsor, and uh, keeping the lights on for us. Helping us expand the word of what's going on in the world around us to the masses. Big shout out to that amazing firm. If you need a cold wallet, make sure to pick yourself up one. But hello, everyone in the chat. Nicole, Brian, Crypto Carnivore, Julio, Laserface, Scotty Moe, Kevin Parsons, Truck Dano, and in the Rumble. We got the Rumble working mm -hmm. today. I jacked it up. Uh, you know what I mean? Nick was out of town, and yeah. Owen, you know, I, it's purely his fault, basically, Owen. Yeah, um, first of all, Owen. We, we gotta talk about Owen. Yeah, what happened to Owen? Like, what is going on? Owen... Owen messed up. He messed he up. He messed up big time. He's uh, currently flying from Paris to Atlanta right now oh after being God. stuck in the Middle East <laughs> for over 72 hours because Fuckface did not. <laughs> uh, he missed his flight. Uh, he wanted to hang out with Josh a little bit longer and he oh. missed his flight. So I had to rebook a whole bunch of stuff and then he missed his other flight. Oh my God. He missed two flights and it's all his fault. And uh, yeah, two but flights. Now, yeah, I worked with him over. The, I spent most of my weekend, like several hours over the weekend, getting oh. Owen back into the United. He spent literally like ten hours what? in Ethiopia. In Ethiopia? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! Oh, 
No, he, I don't know. It's a whole, he will explain and try to defend himself and then I will embarrass yeah. him. Yeah. Well, that needs to be live. It will you know, be live. That needs to be live. Be live. Uh, crypto markets looking great, ladies and gentlemen. My God, I feel like dancing around the hill that I was born upon. We did not breach below 60K. Short term bears, once again, wrecked. Ha ha. Um, health on a shelf, folks. Just uh, building this level of uh, coiling on Bitcoin talking to tim and uh you know I, tim is really impressing me with how much more bullish he is than i am it's i annoying. feel like it scary. is annoying yeah, yeah. I, I used to have that one up on him yep he switched uh he switched his mindset and uh you know i mean me and tim are getting along on a lot of things and you know one thing that i've been watching i think uh we got to unmute hannah's let me see here oh, yeah number it? four. Oh, she's four yeah she's oh, four okay. um, sorry Hannah. i'm not trying okay. to like silence okay. the women it's no big deal it's yeah, no big deal yeah 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 Yeah, but hello <laughs> Hannah. she's all mother trucker um oh my god all right so i want to get into this because me and tim had a great conversation a lot of people are talking about just the overall macro position of the bull market now this is the Ooh. bitcoin uh logarithmic chart needs uh, an update needs an update well i know it doesn't have the third ha the fourth half in here Dip. um uh -huh. i understand that but you know, really, you know, I am watching Bitcoin. It's great to see Bitcoin's price going up, yada, yada. But I am heavily interested in what uh, altcoin sector is going to do more, uh, primarily over the Bitcoin. I know Bitcoin's driving the larger markets. And, uh, you know, I was just trying to use some past history that we had, because looking at the dominance chart, you can see that Bitcoin holds its dominance in the market, or at least ranges in that dominance level that yeah. it has for about like this is i believe around 200 and some change days so yeah. let's go here held on for 212 days after the halving of bitcoin dominance still remaining strong wow before it falls off a cliff and this is where the altcoin sector goes bananas mm -hmm. this is where you know the psychos that are holding render or chain link or you know all your favorite altcoins i mean a lot of them are going to do mad well. lads we need we 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 need the mad lads. We to, need mad lads. Yeah. Um. So you know, watching this, this is 212 days. We go here and check in on this uh, time frame. It was again 214 days. There's only two days of difference between this breaking point in the Bitcoin dominance and the following breaking point in the Bitcoin dominance. This is the third having right here. So when I'm looking at this chart, you know, you have the having uh bitcoin still holding on to its dominance and then mm -hmm. lets it go about 200 and days later um this would put us you know overall um i'm really looking at november for real altcoin season to come oh. uh for crypto you know what i mean like i in essence what i'm talking about right now is i think that we have 210 days give or take from our current situation here, let's just measure it out and give a, give a force to the trees look. So this is 214 days would land us on the 1st of November. And I do expect we go through something similar where we chop back and forth, establish a very strong range. Love it. And uh, essentially enter that real parabolic season for altcoins right at about November of 2024. Yeah. So... Uh, what are your thoughts on this, Nick? Am I being nuts with the, thinking it this way? Because I know everyone loves Bitcoin, but when alt season is something I get asked and I think about more so than where Bitcoin is. Like, is do you think that we're going to follow the same time frame? Because one thing that me and you have been talking about is yep. an earlier blow off top, right? Yep. Um, our upsurge to the all time high is faster by like four months. It's faster than it's ever been. Um, you know, accomplishing that previous all-time high right at the having something we haven't seen before. Nick has ha had a lot of valid thoughts on the timing being a little bit quickened. And, um, you know, I think the blow off, I think that what I just showed you is going to hold true, but I think the after result, I think the blow off top is going to take less time. So, you know, that's kind of my, what do you think about all this that we're looking at here? I mean, am I being yeah. nuts? No. Number one, I got to fix my camera angle. It's yeah. Terrible. terrible camera angle. Very sad. Um, number two, I would love for you, Drew, you can pull up, um, the election cycles. Yes. When elections happen and what the price action was during that time, because I'm fairly certain that up until the election, there's uncertainty and it's either flat or dumping. 
And then after there's certainty in the markets, then things go up, just like with mm -hmm. the stock market, basically. Mm -hmm. um, I think that there's going to be... Um, so I think that the Repub the Red Party is going to have a good November, yeah. at least presidentially. I don't yeah. know about Senate yet. It's really too early to tell over these sorts of things, Senate and House. Um, and if that is the case, the Blue Party is going to start microwaving a bag of dog doo-doo mm. that will probably go ding, ding, ding at some point late 2025. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. that Red Party has uh doo doo being microwaved and exploding in their microwave uh <laughs> in the form of the economy and they need that to be like the next narrative right yeah so uh i don't know if that's a chart that you're able to find well not, yeah i mean i i found like roughly it's uh just comparing the elections to the dow jones four-year cycle yep um dow okay. jones four-year cycle uh showing here and this goes back to the 1990s I do believe, uh, but this is trying to get over, I wish it would actually take me to the exact, maybe it'll take me here, to the exact chart, but it's basically every four years. Um, yep. This isn't, this ain't it. Uh, it's every four years what you're talking about, and yeah, I mean, it lines up pretty dang perfectly, like we get a uh, There is an drawn. indicator on trading you that has it. Oh, what? which is it? Uh, just go to indicator, do like- Election, um, maybe. Yeah. Election. Election year. Use, highlighted let's yeah, see that yeah that one yep. okay oh yeah okay yeah 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 yeah. So there's the last election look at the how that lines up yeah because i think it covers midterms too yeah um and according to this we're halfway this through the election it. season it started mm -hmm. right yep it'll yep. play out for you know uh, until november december this year yeah very interesting to see this in comparison though my God. Um, well, that was a weird one. This last one was a weird one. Yeah. Well, if you look at 2016, it was kind of flat and up. But then after, look at July 9th. Mm, the, the next one. Delete this thing. This is ridiculous. Oh, you go? It got me uh, got me on a line I didn't want. All right. So we got yeah. 2016. Up mm -hmm. At the end of that election season. Yep. Right there. Marks it uh, January of the yep. following year. And just so, like, boom. And it's basically highlighting that January of each year after yep. the election happening. Mm -hmm. That And it's what you said. They have the certainty. You know what I mean? They understand the economic outlook of this oh, yeah. new president. Mm -hmm. And there's always a lot of uh, quantitative easing or printing and helping the markets to give people hope and be able to be voting on hope and ideas that things are getting better um, during that time frame. Man, just a lot of pieces of confluence. Something else yep. on this graph, Nick? Yep. I'm noticing, look at the middle of uh, the smack dab middle of these election cycles. Bob, I mean, this, remember this market structure yep. looks exactly the same. Isn't that crazy? Right in the middle of it. Just yeah. insane. Um, and that's probably, you know, and we talk about how the uh, Bitcoin cycles connected to that uh, money market, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Larger money market. Uh, really interesting to see when you back up and look at this thing. And really, you know, I feel like we have until November yep. before we experience Bitcoin dominance falling off of its shelf and uh, giving us those sweet, juicy, juicy gains in altcoins. Quick question um, yeah. for Hannah. Mm. Are you going to vote? Mm. What is the, what's the temperature amongst Gen Z for voting? Yeah. I don't know. All over the place. It is? Yeah. There's no cohesiveness? Is Owen a rare person to be like a, a young conservative kind of person? No. Most people are saying like, I mean, most people are saying it's not going to be Biden. Not going to be Biden? Okay. And hopefully it's not. Okay. And Hannah, it's, so if it's not Biden, have you heard any uh, queries or interest in Robert F. Kennedy Jr.? No. No? I haven't heard. Not from my peers. No. Really? Oh, man. I wish better for the guy. I don't know, man. The Trump uh, calling out that we will not comply yeah. on the next scam. It really, he got me back on, on, that, uh, on that train, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's what I wanted to hear from him. I wanted to hear a little bit of admitting of faults, a little bit of wrongdoing. That's, um, that's not Trump's MO. You know that. A hey, la da dee da dee, we like to party. La dee da dee da dee. Doing whatever. Gift of veteran crypto. The Membies. Yeah, Thank there you, you go. Uh, what a G. I mean, there's some things happening blockchain wise in the election that was interesting. Um, RFK uh, had these comments. Let's give this a listen and see what he had to say. Oh. Oops, oops. Hang on. There you go.
He's he's, got, got, he's biting off way more than he can actually chew. Yeah, that's a you know that never cash. Yeah, I mean, but it is nice that he's interjecting the idea of this into the public, so that yeah. I mean, just the possibility, um, you know, might be understood. Like, because I I covered it last week, but we had situations like this. Um, U.S. Air Force paying ninety thousand dollars. For a bag of bushings. Oh, yeah. This reminds me yeah. of the $50,000 toilet seat. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, then this bag of bushings costs well under $100. Yes. How much do you think the Air Force pays for the bag of bushings? Uh, U.S. Air Force uh, Secretary Kendall. I don't know. <laughs> Walt's $90,000 for yeah. a little tiny. Let's. Uh... Here is a bag of bushings. Uh, this bag of bushings. Stamped out by machinists. Don't need a high. Don't need a you know. You need a high school uh, uh, diploma. Yeah, it's not not anything high tech about this. All of this bag is compliant with the FAA specifications. How much do you think the Air Force pays for this bag of bushings? I don't know, Congressman. Ninety thousand dollars. Ninety thousand dollars. Ninety thousand dollars for that. Yep. That is the uh, aggravation that I've always had with this uh, immense amount of spending. And then they can't pass the audits oh, for yeah. trillions of dollars. Oh, you can't. Right? Yeah. yeah. Um, All you know, the inconsistencies and the um, uh, inefficiencies are baked into that, that yeah. system. It is it is broken on purpose. Yeah. And that's the, uh, you know, just so Robert Kennedy coming out and saying, hey, we could potentially, hey, another membership. My God. What did you, um, just the idea that we could put the budget on a transparent system, it starts the conversation. And I think that mm -hmm. Robert F. Kennedy is, uh, on the other hand, starting the conversation for an effective third party eventually to at, at least have a chance. Nope. I mean, it's not existent now, Nick. I know nope. that. But he's starting the convo. I mean, it would be nice to have a three-party setup and not just one or the other. Um, Look, we, are, we are vassals yeah. of the... No, not Hannah. You, are you yeah, Hannah? Yeah, Hannah. Uh, we're vassals of the um, intelligence state, and I can't. I can go into detail on in this on Rumble, and I probably should. But we don't have a government right now. Yeah, we 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 don't have a government. Sorry, it's, it's true. It's done. When you celebrate Fourth of July this year, we're celebrating a memory and something that we can bring back. But what we have right now ain't it. Well, and we're gonna get to that. I know okay. we will. We gotta we gotta get him in the door with sugar. sugar. I forgot to put my thing. Out. Oh no. Okay. Uh, you can bring me the sticks if you want, so you can get no, that no, thing prepared. Go. You, you keep um, on talking. You yeah, do. so, well, I got something. We're going to get into why the country is so down bad, but let's talk about why we're going to be up so good first. Uh, this is from Quentin. Raw electricity cost to mine one Bitcoin is now $77,400. Bitcoin set to move much, much higher from its current position. We have this overall graph, and I'll just show you the key here. You got the price, electrical cost, production cost and minor price. And it's just uh, highlighted right here. The price has absolutely gone parabolic to produce a Bitcoin. This is a metric that wow. more so, did, remember the Bitcoin mining cost really serving as that base layer for our decision on the bottom yep. when we're at like 15, 16K? Um, you know, seeing this, I mean, this just is a good bellwether of where the actual move for the bull market comes as well. It, but it will not be that cap. You know, I don't think that we're going to have a situation where it costs $77,000 for a Bitcoin and it ranges from eighty dollars to $100,000. I think the bull market is going to be very bullish, but then we got to look at this actual cost to mine a Bitcoin for our bell, bellwether to where roughly to expect the market to crash back down to after this very exciting year and a half, two years of bull market action. So... Just to highlight on that metric, it matters quite a bit when you need it. Um, the IMF, International Monetary Fund, has recognized Bitcoin as a savings tool for individuals in high inflation countries. This is a... Hey, look at that. I like it just it. seemed like relevant. It's, it is. It is relevant. <laughs> you know, Go on. When you're in an inflation-ridden country, your buying power is falling off a cliff like you have uh, you know, in Turkey, uh, Venezuela, all that good stuff, but the Bitcoin valuation absolutely skyrockets in mm -hmm. comparison. So you does, can hold on to that. Does this make you queasy in the tummy tums? Uh, the IMF says, yeah, it's good. Yeah, I mean, well, and there's a lot of things that make me feel queasy about the TradFi 
injection. Like we act like we need TradFi so bad to make this happen, but yet Bitcoin was made to save people from TradFi's Ponzi scheme. Yep. Now we're just transferring it to the blockchain. Yep. So, you know, it's going to be great monetarily for a few years, but uh, it's really uh, taken away the outlook for the long-term ethos. Absolutely, Nick. Um, speaking of disappointments, influencers beware. SBF agrees to help FTX customers go after celebrity promoters. Sam Bankman-Fried agreed with the, within the settlement with the FTX investors that he will see said investors drop their class action lawsuit against him. In return, SBF will provide help to claimants in their civil lawsuits against various celebrities and VC promoters of the now collapsed FTX exchange. And this lists several, several celebrity promoters of FTX currently fighting lawsuits already, including the list of Tom Brady, Steph Curry, Shaq. They're getting Shaq wrapped you up. You better in this. leave Shaq alone. Oh my God. Um, and Naomi Osaka. I mean, I don't feel like any one of these people had any idea of the giant fraud pond. I mean, Nick, do you think these people were in on it? Like, no, is they it? They were not in on it. Sam barely knew what was going on. And if you go after Shaq, it's on. Dude, Jack I mean, is one of my favorite human beings. It's just like a little bit of a stretch, you know. There you go. Um, I like the Arculus. <laughs> I love the Arculus, man. It it moves fast. Um, it does. Got me off a of trust wallet pretty quick. I mean, I once trust decided to work and let me trust it again. Uh, BlackRock now holding two hundred and seventy three thousand Bitcoin worth eighteen billion dollars, mm -hmm. just within its own spot Bitcoin ETF. It holds 59,350 more Bitcoin than MicroStrategy at this point. This oh, is yeah. insane. What has it been, like two months? It's been two months, but it's also been a lot longer for us to get to 100 likes. We are only yeah. at 64 oh. likes. Oh. What hey. the frick we is need to bump going those. on here? Guys, Whoa, five members. Five, five members from, from the, the blockchain, blockchain report. report. I don't know. Oh, oh, brand bow, new. Thank you. Holy cow. Thank you. Hang on. Team for real. The yeah, the <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Uh, guys, hit that like button. Also, if you're new, subscribe to the channel. And I, I saw a very um, demoralizing metric over the weekend. Did you? Channel. What's that? Um, only 5% of our subscribers have notifications on. Really? Hey. Only 5%. Whoa. It turn makes your notifications life, on. It yeah. makes your life so much easier. Just hit the bell. Yeah. yeah. Bing. That's, yeah, Bing. just tell them. Show them how to do it. Just like that. Bing. Just hit the bell. It, okay. And then Stop. whenever we're live, it'll just tell you. It's, and then we're just it does in all your the face. work for you. Yeah. So, so easy. Uh, we're yet somehow one of the fastest growing crypto channels in all of YouTube, but no one has uh, notifications on. So mm. do us a solid and turn on those notification bells. Appreciate Seeing the, the videos of other videos that people that watch our channel watch, you guys are based. They're watching yeah. like bushcrafting and I like uh, lawyer all channels. Of, yeah. Lawyer, lawyer channels. How to flip junk for money. I love it. Um, absolutely. I love it. Uh, no likes because of Nick. Well, you know what? I'm I'm glad Cam you're here, videos? Cams. Yeah, he's sad. Oh, Cam, he's that's that's one of my. He'll he'll come around. That's he'll one of my around. paid haters. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I pay that guy to say dumb shit every nice. show. Good. Well, uh, <laughs> here's some more dumb shit going on. Jameson Lop transaction fees collected by Bitcoin miners yesterday tripled the previous all-time high, coming in at seventy-eight million dollars. Also made a new record streak of 104 blocks in which in which the fees exceeded newly created Bitcoin. This is the graph. And this is the release of ruins. Um, absolutely insane to see the effect that ruins and these BRC20s wow. and these ordinals are having on wow. this. Wow, 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 wow. And you know, I was, I was talking to Nick, or uh, I talked to Nick and Johnny about this. I talked to Johnny over the weekend. BRCs, it's almost like, you know, we have this situation where, um, as I showed you before, BlackRock holds, you know, nearly 300,000 Bitcoin already. We got this TradFi infiltration that everyone seemingly wanted. Now that it's here, we're realizing, oh my God, they're going to control this thing in full in five years at this pace. So now we see the true DGENs, the ethos builders of Bitcoin, in my opinion, building out these next layers of Bitcoin, in essence, burning one section of their property to protect the larger vast majority of it by putting this, what they call spam on the blockchain. Dang. Um, you know, we, we effed about, we found out they're here. Now we're, <laughs> now we're figuring out ways to still protect and uh, control the, uh, the actual use. And like Bitcoin as a currency that has zero transaction fees, 
um, I don't think is realistic. And no. you're paying for the security of the network. You yeah. know, mm -hmm. when you're moving a billion dollars, you want to, you're fine paying $500 for that transaction cost. Oh, yeah. oh yeah. It sucks for the regular person, but you know what? That's why we're building out all these layer ones, these layer two systems to be competitive, fast transactions. Yes. You run into problems like Solana has or Avalanche has when the flock arrives to utilize it. Yes, they find issues within it, but as long as they're actively addressing it and then working on an overall move to interoperability, that will get us over this hump of difficulty. Lots of new emojis in the chat. What is Whoa, that? Oh, hillbilly TA. Oh, we what got is thick, that? We got thick and tendies. Thick what? tendies it's, going on? It's thigh meat. Oh my thigh God. Meat. Thigh meat is here? Oh my God. CMG510, um, Nick wow. ignores me and it feels so good. Well, now you feel bad, don't yeah. you? Yeah. Because yeah. I just recognized you, Senpai. <laughs> senpai. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Um, yeah, Bitcoin ordinals, this uh meme coin build out on Bitcoin simultaneous to the adoption of Bitcoin by TradFi is quite a monumental moment in, in crypto history and really mon in monetary history at large, because you think about one of the largest, if not the largest. It's not the largest, but BlackRock is huge. It holds like $34 trillion overseeing. I love it. And the same time that they're getting very heavily tethered up into Bitcoin, you see meme coins and all of these other advancements being built simultaneously by the DGENs on the actual Bitcoin blockchain. Um, just incredible. Yep. You know what I mean? Yep. It's, it's what I love to see. You know what else world. is incredible? What's that? Oh, yes. <laughs> you got the new furniture, the I furniture see. furniture has right. Oh, that is just so gorgeous, Nick. Yes. My God. Yeah. Um, nothing feels better than slapping that thing. Muzzle, the, it's got the, um, from Zenith Firearms, it mm. has the scope right, the Picatinny rail, claw mount, the um, muzzle, the flash suppressor, yeah. fully compliant brace, shoulder brace, and that Sig Sauer, um, Red dot. Mm -hmm. Did you put your eye up to that earlier? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay. Uh, eighty dollars. Eighty bucks. Eighty dollars on eBay. Yeah. It was, okay. It was a pretty good deal. All right. So, All right. eBay for optics is pretty dope. Mm. So, highly recommend ten out of ten. I'm gonna cite it in this weekend and the next weekend. We are going as a group to. Ukraine. We're going shooting, and we need to get the. We need to get the uh, adventure video done. Still, um, I'm going to cut that this week, so I don't think I'll be on the show tomorrow. So I can actually spend. Okay, all day. you're going to cut it up. Yeah, you're going to yeah, be yeah. pro. Hey, and I showed Aaron our weekend video. He thought I did a pretty darn good job. We're good, doing good. it all. We're, We're getting it, it down. All of it. Um, thigh meat sounds like a porn name. Has to Druth has hillbilly T T A D Z Vato Loco with suspenders T A nice. I'll take it. And it's an SP5. Just an so, SP5. Yeah. yeah, it's not an MP5. Yeah. I didn't um, want to go through the full yeah. anal cavity search <laughs> of that whole situation. No need for that. We got some stuff coming up that's going to cause some more volatility, some more jackknives down and upwards. We'll see what the support level is at the end of this week. Yay. Um, we have FOMC event coming up, uh, ADP employment, construction spending, ISM manufacturing, job openings, FOMC interest rate decision, 2 p.m. on Wednesday, uh, May 1st. So that's going to be really fun. And that's not, that's actually two weeks away, right? We got some time before that happens. What is it the 22nd? Yeah. So I think it's two weeks away. So we got a little bit of time before uh, you got to get the hell out of the water if you're leverage trading because it's going to be very volatile. Just be careful out there Guys, if you're leverage. News. What's that? Breaking news. What's that? Um, Owen has landed in Atlanta. No. Oh. He is home. Our boy, we brought our boy home. Give him the beep, beep, beep. Give him the beep, beep, beep. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Beep. There you go. <laughs> nice. Brought our, our boy names. home. <laughs> I love that he's alive. I love that he's alive. I was really worried about him out yeah, there. Yeah, I, I was genuinely worried about his it's, it's, mom. <laughs> his mom emailed me. Earlier. His mom oh, is an no. actual Karen. Oh, my her God. Her name is actually Karen. Oh, dude. And I got an email from a Karen demanding where her son was. Well, that's I fair said, enough. I said, look, I am working. That's a this. reasonable question. Where is my child? I, I do not want this yeah. hanging over me for my life. Um, I saw you read Dante's Inferno. Did you read the Iliad by Homer? Any other ancient literature? I read those court Monte Cristo. Count to Monte Cristo. Yeah, I read the, I do believe I read the Iliad as well. Um, yeah, and Dante's Inferno. That was a hell of a our, uh, that's piece a, of that's literature. That's a tough one, yeah. Yeah, very not biblical at all. Yeah, uh, and very, uh, but it's just like you look at all of the um, hero stories and yeah. they all just basically have the same framework. 
I watched Rebel Moon last night, and I could predict every single thing that was going to happen. They had oh, really? Tarzan. They brought in <laughs> uh, Indiana Jones. They oh, had all boy. these just copies of the other oh, heroes. Oh, boy. But, yeah, uh, moving on. The price of solar panels at an all-time low. Interesting. Fun. Um, I might be able to grab some. Uh, you know, because I'm not against solar on the micro. It's yeah. when you try to apply it on to the, the macro. macro. Yeah. Exactly, Nick. Yeah. And, like... I, I was security or uh, system security for uh, power industry uh, previously. Yep. And then I did hiring for the wind energy industry. So I actually have quite a few years uh, dealing with the hiring side, with the production side of wind turbines, but then also cybersecurity for the uh, energy grid itself. And I saw the scam that was going on where they're explaining that, you know, your, your solar is going to save everything. We can expand this. No problem. In yep. reality, you lose 70% of that energy in the transmission line itself. And yep. then, you yep. know, I mean, you, and Nick, you, I could go off on this forever, but yeah, I mean, I looked into it quite a bit for mining gear. Mm -hmm. Um, and actually the devil's not really in the panel details. It is in the conversion of the power because right. most solar panels are DC power and you have to have an inverter to convert it to ac power yeah uh and that is really expensive yes. that's what gets you you get suckered in in the panels but it's all the mounting hardware <sighs> it's all of the cabling it's the infrastructure that you could have got to put down so you're like oh yeah it's five thousand dollars for mm. to solar panel my house amazing yeah well jokes on you it's eight thousand dollars to take all that power in and yeah. invert it it's uh not very helpful when no. the, you know and, and the biggest scam that blackrock is walking back from yep is the overinvestment in ESG. They realize it's not profitable. Uh, you know, I've gone over the attorney generals in the US going after them for it, but I might pick up a micro solar system in the next bull market for sure because I like building out my uh my uh my homestead essentially. I love it. Uh here's just a, a note US China semiconductor war. Uh this is from US Secretary. We have the most sophisticated. Let's just give this a listen and just really soak in what she's saying here. Um, I do believe the Chinese used her to actually sell some phones in yeah. China as well. Let's go. Okay. okay. So, Boy, am I glad I muted that on TikTok. Holy crap. Oh, you crap. muted that on TikTok? I did, yeah. Damn it. Well, I had to. All right. You fine. know why. Well, don't I, don't I, say I, the T word. Okay. <laughs> it's coming. It's coming, Just folks. abbreviate it. Just now, abbreviate now it. and just why is it coming? It's because the country that is in control of these items over the next 10 years yep. ends up by default, the world dominating country. Okay. That's literally, you could sum it up as easy as that. We have a digital economy. We have a big push to build out this AI infrastructure to automate jobs because people want to be able to afford food for their work. And so, like, no, we're just going to replace you with AI instead. But guess what? To build out this infrastructure, we're going to have to, uh, we're going to have to do some things. We're going to have to bring some democracy to a couple locations here. And uh, this is the unfortunate reality of our situation. So I don't want to go too far off the rails with it. I want to, you know, not get anyone really upset. God, and then we got this from Tucker Carlson. It Dude, just... this whole <laughs> podcast was absolutely <laughs> off the rails. I Well, and it's it, just and what he's saying here. And Nick, you have yeah. a lot of info that you pulled up about FISA. Okay. Uh, yeah, we should probably do that tomorrow. Okay, we're going to go into this tomorrow. But um, <laughs> yeah, we're going to leave this one alone for now. Um, this... Stay tuned for tomorrow's show because that is where Nick will end this entire channel. Dude, we need to start doing the rumble only. We got to do rumble we only. We got to do yeah, rumble man. only. Uh, this guy traveled to California to investigate the first ever in and out burger in America to close. Location in Oakland, the store closed because people were getting robbed in the drive through by the thousands while filming on the abandoned location. He himself was robbed. So. A um, couple things to take in to note here. I'm not really surprised that it's shutting down. Oakland is uh, quite devastated from the... Uh, I'm going to go scroll through this, but you don't need to play the sound or anything like that. We're, here's the location right now. You just kind of keep scrolling through. And there's his window busted out as he was in the uh, parking lot of it. But the people... There's 1,200 robberies reported there yep. in the drive through Okay, so wow. your car is in the drive through stuck with all these other people. Guess what? These criminals are just going through and robbing the entire drive through um, Absolutely insane. This is just another uh, example of why you must stay salty, stay fresh, 
and uh, honestly train hard enough to where you're care uh, capable and comfortable keeping one in the chamber because yeah, but you know this isn't their fault okay there's this is institutional yeah. racism that is from top down um set up them to fail and they they literally cannot help it drew you need to take this seriously drew mm. because it's these systems of oppression that have been <sighs> perpetuated by the whites <laughs> you need to take this seriously drew i am moving to luxembourg <laughs> <laughs> I am moving to Luxembourg. I I I, I contacted yeah. uh, the sources, my connections out there. Um, I do have a full shield for family in Luxembourg, the okay. Vider House. So I think uh, instead of El Salvador, Nick. Yeah. I'm kind of feeling like I'm gonna. I gotta go to Luxembourg, man. It's yeah. the only. It's a hard place to get a citizenship or part a passport to. You should do that. I was actually. I actually talked to. I got a lot of alpha over the weekend. Did you? In my New York escapades. Okay. And I was told that Montenegro. Okay. Is the place to be. Montenegro. Montenegro is the place okay. to be because it's impossible to get Croatian citizenship. Uh-huh. Uh huh. But yeah, Montenegro is the place to be. Well, all right, Hannah, where are you going? Um, oh, that's not Hannah. Um. <laughs> To the beach. To the beach. There's a lot of beaches in Montenegro. Which beach? Where are should you going I go? To? Oh, uh, the yeah, only El, El, yeah, Salvador. El Salvador. That's the only thing that comes to my mind. Yeah. Dual mm. citizenship. I heard Costa Rica I... was nice for crypto, but it got a little expensive. I think it got a little. Yeah, expensive. it's kind of played out now. El yeah. Salvador is just so dirt cheap. Well, oh my god. You know. And they have beaches. They've got beautiful. It's perfect. Beaches. I'm, I'm, my mind oh, wanders here. Like it feels like we're being put in a controlled demolition. They're going to come yeah, after us, I you know, know, hard. I know. The winners in this next bull market, like, you're going to have a target on your... You have you have six years to get a passport to another country. Yeah. Because by 2030, the gate's going up. Yeah. All right? So you need to do what you can, everything you can yeah. in your power in order to get it's a second cheap. passport to another country. It's not cheap, but it is worth it. If you're not taking some of these gains and getting a passport somewhere else, you're being a fool. You know, veteran crypto's got a good point. Get a boat, you can go anywhere. Maybe we should get a a, a military boat. Maybe well, we should get. I mean, that'd be. We a really good want one. a sailboat. A sailboat. Because sure. then you don't got to rely on gasoline. We'd end up like Wilson, you know, with the. Yeah. We'd have a ripped off face on a volleyball, and uh, we'd be screaming in the middle of the water. I don't know if you got to go there, but. Well, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even say it. I didn't say the naughty word. Frazzle, exploit. Um, here is a bunch of Republicans waving a Ukrainian flag. I hate this. Yep, here is them uh, excited about the tens of billions of dollars that our uh, government is sending to Ukraine. We have no government anymore. It is uh, pretty insane. It would be nice if a red cent of that was going to the United States to fix our homeless problem or secure the border, any of that stuff. But no, we have to send it out to make sure there's a big old war. Yep. Um, very unfortunate. No one can articulate why Ukraine needs the money. It, it, it does, well, and look, this, it, but wait, there's more. Of Reports wait. of U.S. troops from the 101st Airborne Division and French troops are now openly operating in Odessa, Ukraine. They crossed over from Romania. Russian forces are aware of the situation and they will most likely eliminate the threat, which would be very, very <laughs> escalatory if they did we oh, are yeah. in uncharted waters u.s oh, yeah. congress effectively declared war on saturday so thoughts on this nick are you surprised no i'm not surprised it's it's not surprised but it, it's interesting seeing it being reported and verified so um yeah i mean look it's wars and rumors of wars here yeah. we are okay they're there they're there um but one thing you can do to make sure that you are secure from any type of disruption is by getting yourself an Arculus wallet. That is right. Blockchain yeah. Basement is powered by Arculus. They are our premier sponsor. So get in there, get yourself a wallet. Nicole Minas Tater and her her boy, there she got something, posted it uh, in the Discord. So use code DC20 to get 20% off your Arculus wallet. It supports the channel, it supports yourself because they're an awesome, awesome wallet. They have a lot, a lot of. Um, different coins that they support. Yep. Uh, and it's just cool ass tech. Like it's extremely, extremely secure. So get in there, DC 20. I will put a link in the chat. Well, and like what oh, we covered today, did. we covered FTX and the gigantic yep. rug there, yep. you know, and then we look at literal world war three yep. rolling out and being verified across media. We talk about the value of Bitcoin, not needing that centralized banking infrastructure for you to take your wealth and flee and leave the country. If you need to, the world isn't settled right now. It is in an upswing. 
And uh, yeah, taking control of your own future and holding that sovereignty to yourself. Mm -hmm. That is what I'm all about. So I absolutely uh, huge, huge fan of this. And just I feel really blessed that they are uh, our partner. You know, it's a, uh, so if you feel the need to uh, spread the love, you know, get your family members secure crypto uh, with Arculus. Now, this is just a side note. Oh boy. Uh, in Delhi, 27 million people in this Delhi. This is nothing new. This is their landfill. Yeah. So this is the India landfill, one of the largest in the world, if not the largest, on fire. But yet we remain bootstrapped by our hands, uh, by EPA regulations yeah. here in the U.S. This is why prices, we can't compete on the world scale for production because of the systems and the taxations that we put in place on ourselves, holding ourselves in the United States at a much higher regard than the rest of the world does in their manufacturing process. Oh, so Hannah's, um, Hannah's quitting the show. Yep, she's out of here. Um, see you later. See you later, um, Hannah. I just had to go Bye. there, Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, uh, you know. uh, yeah, this is, um, you, I mean, you can't with that much freedom to where you can just let a landfill burn, you know, oh, yeah. that, uh, you can do stuff cheap. You can do stuff cheap. And this is, um, this fire, I believe has been burning for like 10 years. Yeah. So, uh, not great, not great. Yeah. And people like you, when they come at America for its greenhouse gases and all yeah. this stuff, it's a muted conversation because they're ignoring the fact that a vast majority of plastics, um, Nope. New, you know, old and new that are being polluted into the ocean and the CO2 put out is actually from China and India. It's almost entirely from so, India. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, if you want a really fun side quest real yeah. quick, pull up Google Maps. And so copy and paste Gaza per landfill, mm. landfill and then mm. Google that plus maps. And you're going to see where it is in relation to where people live. Okay. Okay. This is, Search I'm scared. It. Yeah. And I'm kind of worried about them here. Let's go Gaza or I don't know, not Gaza Pure. Yeah. So then oh go to the God. map. Go go okay. to the actual like map view, not uh, the um yeah. yeah. So that's the landfill. Oh well, look God. what's around it. <laughs> A bunch of neighborhoods. Oh my god. You see there's the actual smoke on the Google oh, images. Oh dude. You see the gray area? They couldn't even there? stop the burn for yeah, one yeah, yeah. day. It's all neighborhoods all the way around A it. hospital right in yeah, the yeah, yeah, yeah. downwind. Multiple hospitals. <laughs> Multiple hospitals <laughs> downwind. Apartment complexes. What a shit Look at show. how uh, dense this, this whole country. It's just this incredible. Just oh my god! So yeah, we get our little uh, you know demands here in the U.S. for the, what they're trying to get um, us to abide by, while the rest of the world absolutely outpaces us because yep. they don't have the same restrictions. Unfortunate. We also have some uh, not good stuff that might be coming out of Alberta, Canada. Uh, fires, several fires appearing out of Alberta, Canada, going down into Idaho and Montana. Oh, again? Yeah, Great. Again, I am giving this early. You guys, there's not a bunch of, there's really no channels covering this. We are always bringing you this immediately, and it does look like we have the potential for another big fire season, unfortunately. So please uh, have your preparedness uh, system together. Um, make sure that you're ready for a big problem because, you know, I was in Colorado when we had the last big fire storm yep. and my mask was actually useful. Yep. The little, mm -hmm. you know, face mask that they mm -hmm. made us wear, it actually had a use. Um, it, it got pretty bad in Boulder County. So just watch out for that. We have altcoins on ready though. This is where the juice is. This is where the lovely stuff is. I'll back up on this. This is the crypto total market cap, excluding the top 10. These are our degen coins. You can scoop, scoop my head out of the way here. Oh, sorry. This. It's all good. Get out of here. Um, all right. So here we go. We got a two pulse history in the crypto total market cap, excluding the top 10 altcoins. Okay. So it's a dual pulse money flow on the, it's just a dual pulse MACD really is what it's showing with a larger deep pullback each time. You see that it repeated here in 2020 to 2021 as well. Now we come to this current sector. Now this highlight right here, when we crossed into the green, that was my signal to hammer into altcoins. And um, essentially where we're at right now, guys, I know that it's been a really fun time and we've 10 X, uh, even 20 X on some coins. And there's some out there that are hundred X, right? But we are only half, we're not even halfway through this overall process and the real juicy part of this crypto total market cap will be coming when Bitcoin dominance falls off a cliff once again. So this graph in confluence with this graph is what I'm using to figure out exactly how long we have 
to stack juicy altcoin positions to maximize my return. Oh, baby. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm saying we got about 200, 210 days left, uh, giving you about until the middle of November until the real chaos begins for crypto. So just highlighting that on the time frame because uh, we're getting positioned right now to experience the upside of it. Um, and just a note on a, a project I like. Oh, uh, yeah. Distributed GPU projects, two of them, IonNet and Aether, have announced a collaboration. Aether will airdrop $50 million worth of Alta, uh, Aether tokens to the IonNet community. Likewise, IonNet will airdrop $50 million worth of IO tokens to the Aether community. A little, uh, you know, a little handshake here. Yeah. Uh, handshake. Friendly handshake. Um, fun fact. Yeah. Aether is actually releasing its own piece of GPU mining and node equipment. Really? Yeah. Okay. Is it proprietary? It is proprietary. Okay. But okay. it's, I'm bullet. This is, this could be, and the token's not out yet. Yeah. So they're airdropping $50 million worth of, of Aether token. There is no token you can buy yet. Yeah. That um, is insanely This bullish. could be the next render. Ionet yeah. and Aether could be the next render. Keep an eye out. This is like giving me the same vibes of need to hammer in as I'm getting from Aerodrome. Yeah. You because know? what Aether does, what Aether does is Aether actually allows for distributed cloud computing with GPUs, but it's not what render does, which is for like computer graphics for movies and stuff. Yeah. It is for gaming, mm -hmm. specifically for gaming. Uh, so you can play like the latest AAA games and not have a graphics card. Mm. It's all done online with See, the GPU. But also it's got a focus. Hi, Hannah. You know, it's got a focus. Hey. It does. You know? Yeah. Um, Hannah, are you still in Mog? I'm just curious on the side. Are you still in Mog? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Um, I saw you posted last week, Mog is like uh, giving some of the fees on base in Aerodrome, like Mog on yeah. Aerodrome. Aero is like a partner, or Mog and Aero are partnered somehow. Yeah, I have the story here. Mog, I, Bob from accounting was like, Mog, I'm down on Mog. He's in the chat, but Mog is a conviction play for me. I think it's like gonna go back up. I'm not. I'm not selling that. So yeah. Mog or Retardio? Both. Retardio oh. is the is like the Mog of Solana. Yeah. Same crew. And fun fact, I called out Retardio a long time ago, and on Easter, Retardio airdropped everybody an NFT. They look like Miladies, similar, just like a derivative of Miladies, but they're okay. worth like seven Solana right now. Gotcha. Just okay. if you held Retardio. So congratulations <sighs> if you bought it. Dude, the meme coins are getting kind of fun. I had some fun on uh, Gummy. Oh, yeah. My God. Go look at this Gummy chart. Up the Gummy chart. I'm just going right there. Yeah. Um, yeah. Oops. And Bob, it sounds like he's holding Mog. I mean, Bob, I think you have a wow. pretty strong... I look at this. What the hell is my gummy position right now? I know. Uh, you better check your wallets if you airdropped or air uh, airdrop farmed a gummy token. Um, it was a pain in the butt to claim my tokens. It took me about an hour. Yep. Um, and one thing that was crazy for me, Nick, watching this whole thing roll out, mm -hmm. crypt, uh, Crypto Banter ran. I mean, oh, the yeah. people wanted to chop his head off. Mm. It was, like, it was a little dicey. It was a very dicey situation. Yep. And he obviously he didn't do wrong by the project in the rollout. No. But literally Solana itself could not move the transactions through. Mm -hmm. And he was sitting in front of the camera as this massive uh, live chat flowing with all of this hatred and anger from people that weren't able to claim He's like, guys, just keep trying. And I was like, all right, I'll keep trying. I keep, uh, you know, trying to blast through. Eventually it did work. It showed me it was just a overload on the particular airdrop system that it was put on. And it was just kind of like intense to see someone so quickly turned on by the community. And then everything's fine an hour later. It was just yeah. the system really didn't work. Because it's Solana. I it mean, is Solana. That's the problem. And we all, and I understand that. I got some Solana tokens that are doing absolutely fantastic right now. Um, yeah, I can't get into too much, but, uh, you know, I got Tuker, I got, uh, Gummy, uh, yeah. for sure. I got, uh, Trump Pepe, which is not doing too bad right now as well. 30 odd six or 6.5 Creedmoor, Eric Villarreal. I mean, I am biased at 30 odd six. 
I've heard good things about the Creed more. Yeah. Um, usually people with Creed more are loading their own rounds though. Those rounds are expensive. They, it's like the Lapua, right? Yeah. Like, well, 338 Lapua is a little bit similar. 6.5 Creed more. Um, I just never can find the ammo and the guys that really love it, they, they make their own ammo. You know what I mean? I, I don't do that. I don't make my own ammo. I can make my yeah. own shotgun shot. I mean, if you need it for like hunting elk, yeah. then sure. But yeah. if it's, if this is your boogaloo bug out, no, you should not. You should not get unique ammunition for your bug out. That I mean, I like the common ammo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I, I like the common ammo. We need to have a, a, a fight because I will fight you about the uh, 556. Five, what? 556 five, and 762. Here's the thing, man. Your people are like, yeah, 556 five, and 223. Two, yeah, that's the one you want to get. Everyone's going to be fighting over that ammunition. I'm going to be the guy with the 762. Just be like, hee, hee, hee. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, I, I think because of the fighting, there will be hefty availability. That's, you know, that's just my take no, on it. No, there's just going to be a bunch of dorks and forerunners trying to shoot at each other, <laughs> getting their 5.56s. Five, five, and I'm going to be the guy with the MP5 just sniping them. From the Listen, I'm, I'm in a minivan. <laughs> I I'm, I got a sleeper prepper vehicle. I, I drive like a total soccer mom minivan. Yeah, it's great. I just love that stacked. Thing. Toyota you know? Sienna. Yeah, the Sienna. So it gets a comfortable ride. I'm going to get great. a new one. Nice. Um, all right. So DeFi investor highlighting the fastest growing blockchain. It's kind of interesting stuff. In the past 30 days, Merlin, a native Bitcoin layer 2, Linea, Ethereum layer 2, Mode, a modular DeFi layer 2, Base, another Ethereum layer 2, Bitcoin. Wow. Didn't expect that, huh? Wow. People? That is the interesting. That's one of the most interesting things about this. Bitcoin mm -hmm. being built on Bitcoin. This is like back to the future. And you know what I mean? Like they're moving yeah. back to the to the original chain. Incredible to see. And then blast another Ethereum layer. Boo. Two. Blast sucks. Yeah. And then, you know, these are newer. So you're going to see the percentage and change yep. um, kind of game for newer, uh, you know, up and coming protocols and things of that nature. But base is nothing that, and base and Bitcoin, not new. I mean, base been talked about for about six months, yep. maybe a year. Yep. Bitcoin, shocking to see the ecosystem increase on that, right? As uh, Larry Fink stacks 300,000 of them and thinks yep. he's got it all figured out. Uh, boy, you're going to have some meme coins on your hands there. And now we're going to do some deep research on how we find the top meme coins. Uh, you ready for this one? Uh, yeah. Let's, Let's send it. Are you ready? Yeah, it was an intense experience. You know, I just, I just did the work. Watched a lot of retarded people. Spent time with them, observed them. Watched all the retarded stuff they did. <laughs> yeah, that, that he's basically described crypto research in a nutshell. Pretty much, you know. I mean, <laughs> you don't have to be a genius to figure this stuff out. You, you know, and you're just following uh, kind of the ebbs and flows of the market. Watch the inflows yep. of stable coins, the outflows, etc., and you'll get a good mind framework about where uh to actually get out of the market you know what i mean yep. just be honest with yourself and the expectations um so yeah gummy actually uh this is insane i got i just air i i farmed for like a week and i held tuker now what i have is like two or three hundred bucks worth of gummy token out of the out of nowhere damn son. um yeah, absolutely incredible like, yeah it's like 270 right now nice it's not bad yeah. you know what i mean not bad I got to check D bridge um, as well. Cause I got some points on there uh, looking to get an airdrop on D bridge. We had a uh, escaped Binance executive arrested in Kenya, facing extradition to Nigeria. Binance executive who fled Nigeria in custody has reportedly been arrested in Kenya and faces extradition to Nigeria this week, according to an unnamed Nigerian government source yep. cited by punch. So uh, yep. man, they got him. They really got him, Nick. They nailed him. Uh, they didn't let him off the hook there. So uh, that's a rough situation, thankfully. I'm really glad Owen isn't in custody. You know, that's just... I don't know. Him. I think he should spend a little bit of time in custody. Just a little bit? He's yeah, his lesson. To, like, uh, rough him up a little bit, get, teach him a lesson. Yeah, I mean, they're all, like, yelling Farsi at him when I was talking to him on the phone. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And I'm like, what? And he keeps on saying, American, American. <laughs> I'm like, you should shut up. <laughs> Ransom? You should, Ransom? you should not say that, like, at all. And, stop and his talking hair. You can't hide that he's American yeah, yeah, yeah. from his hair. I mean, good God. I mean, he's I, either American or like British royalty yeah. with that haircut. Uh, by yeah. the way, the uh, Bitmain Ant Miner S19K Pro is about 2500 bucks. Okay. And it is okay. still highly profitable. Bitmain Ant Miner S19K Pro. It is okay. yeah, still highly profitable. How much are they uh, costing? How much does one of those cost? 
uh, about two grand. Let me twenty five hundred bucks. Okay. Let me see. So, because people were asking me, they're like, "Well, after the having all the Bitcoin miners going to be not profitable?" I'm like, yeah. "Well, they're going to have less Bitcoin, but the fees, thanks to runes and other I know, I know, are going bananas." I know. Th so that's the thing, right? It's like, miner if if th if those uh, ecosystems keep being built out at the rate they are on Bitcoin, yeah. I mean, the fees yeah. are going to be grand. very lucrative. Two grand on actually one thousand nine hundred and twenty dollars without Two a power grand. supply. So. Call it twenty two hundred bucks all in, and you can oh. get yourself a Bitcoin miner that is about uh five dollars a day profitable. Okay, okay. Well, good to know. Got it. And I love that you are so insane about mining. It's <laughs> it's taught me a lot. You know what I mean? I know. Um. Yeah. So now, what I'm looking at on. Okay, so first, I'm going to look at the history of Uniswap. Oh boy, here we go. So Uniswap. Big, big player in crypto, right? It's obviously heavily ta uh, tailored towards Ethereum, but you can get a lot of different tokens on Uniswap. Um, it was a big mover in the last bull market. Now, I might be being too bullish, but I really don't think so. Uniswap, last bull market hit a market cap of 40 or actually $20 billion right here. So you got 22.5 bill, last bull market market okay mm -hmm. now when i look at something like arrow and i am just becoming more and more bullish on this thing this does not do it justice i am cutting up uh around three to four k worth of chain link into this token um and the reason for that is i see some health on a shelf being wow. built here right that. that that's the monthly mm. when i get a monthly chart like this that builds this level of support feeling good feeling yeah. real good but there's other reasons why I'm feeling good about Aerodrome. And really, it's uh, more actually focused on the overall narrative that Coinbase is custodying not only BlackRock, but eight of the top Bitcoin ETFs across the United States. It's holding their Bitcoin. And do you really think that the SEC is going to slam the clamp down on base? Coinbase's nope. darling. Is that even possible? Um, maybe for some semantics or some show, but I really don't think that anything is going to be getting in the way of base. And now Aerodrome being the DEX and a liquidity layer for base is giving me absolute insane bullish outlook for this token. It is at a $270 million market cap right now. I am literally comparing this thing to the performance of Uniswap and really, you know, I, I don't think that coin perspective is working. Oh, actually, it is. So let's just do some math here. Oh, we're, we're gonna, moon mathing. We're, we're moon Guys, mathing. strap in. We're moon cooking the math. supply strap up. Strap in. We're about to go. Cooking the supply up to 500 mil. And then we go to a market cap. Let's say we just accomplished what Uniswap did last bull market. That leaves you with a $40 arrow. So. Whoa. You know what I mean? It's just stuff are like you, this. Are we saying 35X? I am seeing a 35X. I, like, this is being, in my opinion, calling for a $20 billion market cap on Arrow. Yep. I feel like I'm being conservative. And this isn't from any... Being conservative know, is what we are at this channel. Well, true. Okay. <laughs> true. But it's really hard to think about something that is ex like a very uh, parallel or lateral to it, something very concise to compare it to. I wanted to compare it to B&B. Yeah. But it's different than BNB, and you know, comparing it to Uniswap, it's different than Uniswap. It's in bed with one of the largest asset managers on the planet. I just showed you guys, Coinbase is holding nearly three hundred thousand Bitcoin for BlackRock, Hate just it. BlackRock. Hate it. And do you think anything is going to get in the way of the darling of that organization from no. absolutely smashing through the rest of the market? And it'll, you know what? I'll bet, I'll bet you the SEC will go after their competitors. That's yeah. how cooked into the system I think it is. And I'm not saying that that's great. I'm just calling it as I see it. You know what I mean? So um, Aerodrome, I'm still going to be stacking that. Uh, a lot of people like Nier. I like Nier a lot right now, you guys. And uh, actually, we are still stacking more Nier in the pro, uh, portfolio. Um, <clears throat> and more of TradFi learning from crypto 24-7 markets. Uh, TradFi learning and becoming more like crypto. This is from Hayden.eth. From Uniswap, 24-7 markets, meme stocks, discounted stocks for users when company goes public. I expect this trend will continue. 
This is in response to the New York Stock Exchange considering a 24-7 trading setup for Wall Street. Now, uh, uh, that's going to get real spicy real quick for them. Like They're very used to that 8 o'clock bell or the 8.30 bell. Mm -hmm. All, a lot of things change when you keep things open 24-7. A lot of nasty dips in the middle of the night. Um, so definitely be watching out for that. It looks like it's coming here. And, oh, my God. This is Joshua Jake highlighting that Biden uh, was talking about his uncle being eaten by cannibals. I guess I'll, this is a comfortable way to send us off as we head into 3 p.m. Yeah. Are you ready, ready for this, for this one? one? Yeah. Why is President Biden saying he was shot down? There's no evidence of that. And why is he saying that his uncle was eaten by cannibals? That is a bad way to go. He lost his life. It's not, look. I, I'm not. We should not make jokes about it's this. Not, wait, wait, President wait. Biden said no, that his no. uncle was eaten by cannibals. I mean, your your last line is it's for a laugh. It's for a, a, a funny a funny statement, and he takes this very seriously. His uncle, who served and protected this country, lost his life serving. Okay, okay. she did he not lost deny his, yeah. that he was eaten by cannibals. She is so bad at her job. Well, I mean, she's so bad. She's good. Because she's almost perfect for this organization, honestly. Like, yeah, I take it back. She's she's, she's perfect. I mean, she fits right in. Yeah. You know what I mean? But she did not deny that Joe Biden's uncle was eaten by cannibals in New Guinea. Um, do you guys remember that story of Rockefeller? Uh, do you remember yeah. that? I mean, maybe we should go there. I, I don't know. Let's not get completely let's, banned. Yeah, let's not. Lot, right We've at already the end gotten of the like show. three strikes on this TikTok live. <laughs> I, I kid you not. Are we really? <laughs> yeah. We got three strikes on TikTok? We got a lot of hand slapping. Man, we're racking him up. That's like know. in bowling, that's good. I know. I was bowling a little. You know, I bowled 140. Congratulations. I am terrible at bowling, and I never get to go. I bowled a 140. I was very proud of myself. Hannah would be proud watching. You know, I'm a very dad bod. Very dad man, just slamming beers, hanging out with the dads. Yep, yep. You know what I mean? Um, it felt good. It felt good. So, yeah, um, this, I guess we've ran out of time. There's so much I want to do still on the show, but we're out of time. We're going to be uh, having a pretty important meeting with a uh, very close uh, helper, worker, An ally. hardcore dude of the channel. Yeah. Here in a minute, I can't uh, give out too many details, but um, I appreciate every single one of you out in the chat. Dion, Greg, uh, Crypto After Dark with Jake, Sin Diesel, Michael King, Just Jim, CMG50, The Coleman Estator, Mr. Mark, Deadwood, Edward Middleton. Down in the uh, Rumble, we got Dire Armory, formerly known, username formerly known as GB, and Two Bros Mining. Appreciate every single one of you. If you can, smash the like on the way out here. You can do it. S spread the word about self custody sovereignty in crypto get the word out about arculus help support the channel we appreciate every single one of you and we'll see you tomorrow with more alpha later ooh, ooh.